2014 was a year of high profile advances and one big scandal in the field of stem cell science. American researchers, for example, use stem cells taken from human embryos to treat patients suffering from severe vision loss. Remember Dolly the sheep? Scientists from a company called Advanced Cell Technology adopted the same cloning technique used to clone Dolly to create early stage human embryos of two men. Cells from those embryos were then turned into other tissues, such as heart cells. Weeks later, researchers at the New York Stem Cell Foundation said they had cloned a human embryo from a woman suffering from diabetes. Cells from that embryo were then changed into new cells that produced insulin. The long-term hope would be to translate the new insulin-producing cells back into a patient to treat diabetes. In California, scientists described how they had turned a patient's diseased skin tissue into fresh, healthy human skin in a lab dish. The experiment could lead to new treatments for several debilitating skin diseases. But the stem cell field was also hit by scandal. Japanese researchers garnered global headlines when they turned mature cells into embryonic-like ones simply by putting them in an acid bath. The claim turned out to be bogus. Their studies were retracted and the lead researcher was found guilty of misconduct. Tragically, one scientist involved in the experiments committed suicide. Scientists continued to push the boundaries of using cells to make new body parts. In one remarkable experiment, human tissue was used to make vaginas in the lab. Those lab-made vaginas were then successfully transplanted into four teenage girls whose own were absent because of a rare disease. What can be expected in 2015 and beyond? The challenges of testing many of these stem cell advances in larger clinical trials.